something with this. Hey friends, the very first video that I posted here on YouTube was for one of the easiest breads you'll ever make, and that was a beer bread recipe. Now, I'm gonna have for you one of the easiest pizza doughs you'll ever make, and this is great for a weeknight where you want a fresh hot pizza coming out of the oven and very little prep. All right, so before we start prepping the pizza dough and getting the toppings ready, what we wanna do is start preheating our cooking surface and our oven. And in this situation, I'm using a cast iron pizza pan. You may have a pizza stone at home. You may also have a pizza steel. Uh, whatever it is, we want to get that heating. We want this to get really hot, and the pan's going to need about an hour once the oven reaches temperature. So this is a perfect timing where we can get our dough ready, get our toppings ready, and then within an hour's time, uh, it'll be ready to bake. Okay, so we're going to begin by prepping the dough. So I'm going to start by putting the dry ingredients together. Now this is actually a modified version of the earlier beer bread episode because um, I don't prefer a puffy crust and so I've altered the amount of baking powder in it. Let's give it a good mix before we add the beer. And now it's beer time. Now word about beer. I'm using a medium flavored lager. If you are using a rather hoppy flavored beer, you know, it is going to have that presence and your guests may not like that. Uh, if you do, then no problem. But just be aware of the bitterness level of your beer and how you want it to affect your pizza dough. cover it and set it aside for about 30 minutes and during that time we're going to prepare our other toppings and get that ready while the dough rests and the pizza pan gets hot. The reason we rest it is because it gives enough time for the gluten uh, inside the dough to relax and form those bonds and that's why you know a genuine wheat crust is going to have that structure much better than a lot of, for example, gluten-free crust. All right, friends, tonight I'm keeping it simple. I'm doing a pepperoni pizza, an all-time classic and one of my personal favorites. I got a couple of links of pepperoni that I'm gonna be slicing up. And as an added bonus, at the market I found a block of smoked mozzarella. And I think that smoked flavor is gonna give a nice added little bonus to the finished pizza. Now I didn't have time tonight to make my own pizza sauce like I usually do, 
So I just have some jarred sauce. If that's the situation you find yourself in, here's a little trick that I recommend. It's gonna give your pizza a little bit more zest. And that is, you wanna use some good dried oregano. And what I'm going to do is put the sauce on and then add the oregano before I put the rest of the toppings on. Okay, I know we said we're going with the uh, smoked mozzarella, but I am going to use a little bit of grated Parmesan. It's just going to add to that depth of flavor. Cheese! Pepperoni time. Okay, now this is an optional step, but what I'm going to do is lightly brush the pizza pan with oil, and that's going to help crisp up the crust at the bottom. And now we play the waiting game. Okay, so the pizza's been cooking for a little bit, but I'm not gonna quote you exact cooking times because everyone's ovens will vary. When you know, you'll know. I feel like it's probably halfway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the pizza so that it's gonna get a little bit more even cooking. That added little step that we took of uh, lightly brushing the pizza pan with oil, I want you to take a look at the bottom of the crust here. Okay, let's cut this baby up. You know what goes great with beer bread pizza dough? Beer! <laughs> <laughs>